about a hot day. Imagine during the hot day without power. Yes, hundreds of people were without power in the city of High Point. But what caused it? We first heard of the outage around 1:15 this afternoon, and just over an hour later, we got word power was restored. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews is live at the Palladium Shopping Center. So, Daryl, this is the second day in a row the city saw a big power outage. Have you gotten any word on what could have been behind this? Yeah, Natalie, it is the second day, and so far, city officials tell me that they believe it is a transmission line that delivers the power to the city, and they're working frantically to figure out these repairs before it happens again. Now, a rolling blackout in parts of North Carolina sent people scrambling to beat the heat while staying cool, and businesses fighting to keep the doors open to customers. City officials say today's outage affected five subdivisions for nearly two hours, but it's the second day in a row the city has seen a blackout. Yesterday, a lightning strike caused dozens of homes to lose power, and today for nearly two hours, businesses inside the Palladium have had to close their doors to customers. They put up handmade signs acknowledging the power outage and turned away people while potentially taking a financial hit. And I walked in and they said, we have no power. We tried to call you, but we had no power. So now I have to come back tomorrow. We came to see the minions and now we can't see it. Pretty disappointing just because like, I feel like the movies have a, a pretty big reputation to uphold and kind of need power. Now, you can only imagine being without power for any amount of time in this heat. But luckily, as I said before, the power in the city has been fully restored and electricians and the city officials are working to figure out what caused it before it happens again. We're live in High Point. Daryl Matthews, Fox A News.